Hello everybody, it's Adamo Freeman with CopBlock.org. Today I spent most of the day in downtown Cleveland with Dio, Jason, and Tom covering the protests going on in regards to the Brelo verdict. For those unaware, Michael Brelo was found not guilty today on all counts stemming from an incident where he unloaded approximately 15 rounds of ammunition into a car with two subjects who were unarmed from the hood of their vehicle. Most protesters felt that this is clear excessive force and were upset with the verdict. They took to the streets to advocate their displeasure. The video I'm about to show you are snippets from the day's activities. As you can see from these clips, the protest slash march started out rather peacefully. And even at times when some protesters would act out of line, they were quickly corrected by other protesters, including when one man climbed on top of a statue and another time when protesters entered a mall. See these clips. You know the difference? You know the difference between the protesters and these cops? Is they just realized they did something wrong and fixed it. Yeah. These cops don't do that shit. For the most part, the protesters were keeping things very peaceful and conscious of private property. The same couldn't be said for the police, who I witnessed on two occasions escalate situations. The first being when some motorcycle cops were trying to move some protesters away from a bus. See here. Clearly that officer didn't have to use his motorcycle and rev his engine into that protester's face. I'm pretty sure that's not in police protocol either. Another moment where police escalated a situation was when they attempted to arrest a man who did throw a rock through a window. What I feel the police didn't do well here was relate that to the protesters. And as you can see, two protesters try to intervene in the arrest, most likely because they didn't know the reason for it. When the police went to arrest those two protesters, they were pretty aggressive, as seen in this video.
do that. Whatever you do it. Things calmed down after this arrest until there was an altercation with some protesters and some restaurant patrons. I was unable to catch footage of that, but I understand there were a few arrests there, including one woman with the National Lawyers Guild. Once nightfall came, the police increased their numbers and deemed the protests unlawful. Once they did that, it seemed their goal was to herd the protesters into an area where they would be able to arrest them. They achieved this goal in an alleyway just off of 4th Street. Once the protesters were in the alleyway, the police sealed it off, including pushing out media and those with cameras. At that time, it is alleged that they conducted about 60 arrests. Here's the footage we were able to get. It's an unlawful assembly at this point. Media? Go back to West 6. Media? Go back to West 6. Media? Yes. Go back to West 6. Media? Johnson Court. What's the charge? What's, What's your name? name? What's your name? Andrew Martin. How old are you? 23. 23. More people being arrested. Where's the van? Where's the van? What are you under arrest for? Up there. What are you under arrest for? What did they arrest you for? Another lawyer. They won't get out Just a fair warning. Come on. Media? Let's go get out of the alleyway, sir. Let's go. We're going out to the street, we gotta stay out of the alley, okay? What's going on back there? My personal path. No silk in the lot like nineteen thirty eight East Germany, you know that, right? Where are they sending media to? Yeah, look, they're kicking the media the Where fuck they out. Media and they're start. Don't those guys have a right to protest? Yeah. Out of the alley. I am. I'm just asking some questions as I go. He's following Do those orders. guys out there have a right He's to protest? Following orders. Why are these people being arrested? Anybody know why those guys are being arrested? There's no curfew in effect. Why are these people being arrested? Shouldn't we be able to film that? You know what happened to Freddie Gray, right? When he got arrested by the cops. You promise no one's gonna die over there? You know, they are supposed to be protecting us, but they're killing us. And they're getting away with killing us. We are people kids. We are still people kids. The hell? Why would you stand on top of somebody's vehicle and fire that many times? That's murder. That's murder. And you guys let them go. That's murder. That's murder. Y'all, and y'all, come on now. I, I, I'm mad at any black officer down here. I'm mad at any black officer down here. Worst, worst in the world. They're the worst people in the I'm fucking mad. world. Any questions about the Constitution? Any comments tonight? Any comments? Who feels any good about their about job? The Constitution? Who feels good about what they're doing today? About the Constitution? I'll Man, you guys look like some stormtrooping motherfuckers. Hell. Holy uh, shit. Uh,
Really? Who's just doing their job? So were the Nazis. Oh, the Nazis man. were doing their job too. Yeah, next football. time you can take people to a gas chamber. Really complete your work. The Nazis were doing their jobs too. What the fuck, man? Those guys probably even scare you guys. <laughs> I mean, those are some scary looking motherfuckers. I can't believe in the freest country in the world we have people that look like that walking around. But you know what their explanation is? That's why we're free. Oh, that's right. You're so free because someone could stick a boot right on your throat. Back up, guys. The truck's coming by. I hear you. I'm, I'm cool. I know how not to get hit by trucks. I made it this long. We're with you guys! Solidarity! Rock it out! Beyonce and Jay-Z! Fuck the police! Use the You just can't steal people. That's kidnapping. 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 Hey, we got some kidnappers here. Who wants to arrest them? You, you know they. they Where's the a cop when you need one? I know, right? A real cop. Yeah. Yeah. Cars outside. Okay, open the street. Open the street. I'll back up on the sidewalk. Full start. Back them up. Back them up. Yeah. I mean, do you really feel good about what you did today? 476. Do you really feel good about what you did today? You arrested your fellow Americans for a peaceful protest. How about you, 250? You don't have a name, so... Well, heck, neither did the Nazis. They had numbers, too. Sad day in America, man. Sad day. They traded their names and freedom of thought for a paycheck. They just follow orders now. Robots. Robots. I really wish you guys the best in life, man. I really do. Alright, let's go. Don't leave without you! <laughs> Y'all look like teenage mutant ninja turtles, man. So what do you think? Were the police heavy-handed with their arrest today? Should they have let the protesters protest as long as they wish? Isn't there a First Amendment right to peacefully protest? I don't know about you, but it seems to me that the officers would be better off policing their own than policing these protesters. Hopefully things will stay just as peaceful tomorrow as many protesters plan to show up for the Cleveland Cavaliers game. That's assuming their numbers weren't affected by the arrest that took place tonight. Of course, we'll be there to cop block and ensure that badges don't grant extra rights with our video cameras. So stay tuned to coplock.org for more details. As always, remember, badges don't grant extra rights. Peace. Oh, you guys got a lot. Got your turn, psych. Hey, man, where are we all going to get some beers and talk about all the peaceful protesters we arrested? This is what a police state looks like. I love it.